uh, I hope uh, that all of you who are here today, they have all appeared in either CAT or ZAT or NMAT. कोई ऐसा है जिसने नहीं अपेयर किया है या तो फिर मुझे अपना हाथ उठा के बता दे भाई राइट बिकॉज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड की हु इज माई ऑडियंस एंड हु एम आई स्पीकिंग टू राइट सो दैट्स वेरी क्लियर आप में से कोई कैट नाइंटी परसेंट टाइल से ऊपर हाथ उठाए वन टू कैट एटी और नाइन्टी के बीच में चार सेवेंटी और एटी ओके और राइट यू कैन लोअर योर हैंड्स राइट तो सो बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स नाउ आई एम स्टार्टिंग जैसा बताया सोनी जी ने मेरा नाम अनिल सोमानी है मैं ग्वालियर शहर का रहने वाला हूं और इन्होंने ये भी बताया कि मैं आईआईटी बॉम्बे और आई एम अहमदाबाद से मैंने शिक्षा ग्रहण की इसमें कोई शेखे की बात नहीं है लेकिन जो चीज जानने लायक है जो जानने काबिल है और जो जाननी चाहिए वो ये है कि मेरे घर में पढ़ाई का माहौल बिल्कुल नहीं था मेरे पिताजी जो थे वो फोर्थ क्लास चौथी जमात तक पढ़े हुए थे हमारे घर में किसी को अंग्रेजी कोई अंग्रेजी नहीं बोलता था किसी को अंग्रेजी नहीं आती थी और मैं भी उसी में शामिल था एंड टुडे आई कैन स्पीक इंग्लिश विथ सच फ्लुएंसी दैट इवन मेनी टाइम्स आई वुड पुट टू शेम इवन द ब्रिटिशर्स दिस इज द लेवल ऑफ फ्लुएंसी आई हैव एक्चुअली अटेंड इन इंग्लिश लाइफ और मैं ये इसलिए आप लोगों को बता रहा हूं कि अगर मैं ये कर सकता था आप लोगों में से कई ऐसे होंगे जो कि मतलब दे बिलोंग टू हिंदी स्पीकिंग बैकग्राउंड और uh, मेरे जैसा बैकग्राउंड होगा एंड दे मस्ट बी स्ट्रगलिंग टू इम्प्रूव देयर इंग्लिश बट आई वांट टू टेल देम कि देर इफ आई कुड डू दैट सो कुड सो कैन एनी ऑफ यू और मैं जब पहली बार मुझे अपने क्लास में मैं कक्षा पांच में था जब कक्षा छ में था जब पहली बार मुझे अपनी क्लास में सारे बच्चों के सामने इंग्लिश में बोलने के लिए कहा गया तो मुझे मतलब एक आध सेंटेंस बोल के मैं अटक गया मुझसे आगे बोला नहीं गया जब मुझसे टीचर ने कहा कि भाई आप क्यों रुक क्यों गए तो मेरे आंखों से टप 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 करके आंसू बहने लगे और उस दिन मैंने ये प्रण किया मैंने रिजोल्व किया that yes i would learn english and i would do it as well as my teacher and in as well as or better than any of my other classmates so if i could do it and how could why could i do it how could i do it kyu kyunki mere andar wo lagan thi mere andar wo passion tha mere andar wo jisko hum kehte hain jazba tha and boys and girls it is this jazba that i want all of you to bring in yourself agar hamare man mein lagan hai agar hamare man mein ye passion aur jazba hai kuch bhi karne ke liye hai so then i am not saying we can achieve the impossible ye to khair filmi baat hai but then yes we can achieve the most difficult tasks in this world so this is something the first thing that i want to tell you all as you all know that i i am the chairman i run a business school uh, uh, in delhi and as uh, as a part of my business school uh, uh, activity sometimes uh, uh, i i i interview students also and when i interview students i ask them that why is it that they are wanting to do uh, pgdm or mba or whatever you may call that and and believe you me i'm telling you something that most of them have no clue no clue about what is actually in store for them 
in two years at a B school. They give me all kinds of answers. Ki, sir, I exposure ke liye karna chata hu. I work for knowledge I want to gain. Somebody says that, sir, I like to manage things. I want to be a good manager. And then I ask them that who is a good manager? Or who sir, a person who can manage things. <laughs> who is a person who can manage things? Who is a good manager? And I, there are several definitions. No? Several definitions of that. And I ask them one more time. I say, okay, I take all of them. Suppose I give you knowledge and exposure and everything you want to say, I will do it. And if I don't give them placement, then what do you want to do with MBA or PGDM? You know, uh, the, the point is that secretly, Secretly, everybody wants, whoever appears in CAT, you know, secretly everybody wants to um, uh, go to IIM Ahmedabad. Chai jitna uska CAT ka score uh, 25 ka ho, 50 ka ho, lekin har kisi ka yehi hai ki bhai usko IIM Ahmedabad mein jana hai. Right? Aur wo is liye kyunki waha par aisa placement hota hai, ye hota ho. You know, I am Ahmedabad did a survey once, you know, 25 lakh rupay wahan ki fees hai. And they did a survey that if they remove placement from their scheme of things, how many students would still join? And from amongst their students, they, when they did this survey, 70% said, no, they will not join. So it is just about 30% who agreed to be in I am Ahmedabad if the placement thing was removed. So to Lugba, jo, aap jaise, jo students hai, jab interview mein hai, hai, so nobody talks of placement, you know, they only talk of uh, knowledge, this, that, etc. Or jab mein unse ye poochta hun, ke, uh, management mein kya hota hai, manager hai, I want to manage things, uh, jo mein kha ra tha. Who is a good manager? So again, they'll give me a blank stare. So today I'll tell you, management has been defined in many, many ways. And but some of the, the best one or two definitions I will tell you. And if we broadly look at management, who is a good manager? A person who can effectively and efficiently organize, control, plan, and execute all the resources and make the best use of all the resources at his command. And what are these resources? The three M's, men, machinery, material, and apart from that, the additional resources of time, data, uh, information, etc you know so a person who can make the most efficient and effective use of the resources at his command he is supposedly a good manager a a very holistic view of a good manager but there is another definition which i will share with you and who is a good manager and this is something which i learned from i am amdabar and that is that the person who can take the correct decision at the correct time. If, if this person, uh, if he knows that what is the correct decision at the correct time, then he is the most successful manager in this world. In, in your coaching, in whatever, in B schools, no. They teach you that a manager, he should be a good leader, he should be able to lead from the front, etc., etc. It's no. A good manager is a person, is a person who should be able to lead, lead, of course, yes. But then he should be able to switch roles as the situation demands. He should be uh, as easily slip into the role of a follower as he is in a role of a leader. So when the situation demands, he should be a good follower. And when the situation demands, he should switch over into a role of a leader. So that a person who knows what to do when, 
is actually the best and the most successful manager. And this is something what they what they taught me at I am Ahmedabad, and this is something which I have brought into the culture in the B school that I, I run, which is Postima, which stands for the Friends of 73 of I am Ahmedabad. And because we, we are seven friends, and like Sony said, that we're seven friends who started this business school. And uh, the, the, of course, I am Ahmedabad is a very important part of this business school. But then, because what is it, apart from what I just told you, what is the most, another very important feature of I am Ahmedabad? The best is what is known as networking. I mean, we, the, the, the pass outs of I am Ahmedabad are so well connected. I mean, I must have passed out, I don't know uh, how many, 30, 40 years before uh, Sony uh, actually passed out. But then I have the same amount of respect for Mr. Sony Goel as I as he has for me. I mean, we, there is no age barrier difference between the two of us. We we have we connect so very well just because of the single fact that we, we belong to the same alma mater. So this 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 feature of networking is another very very important feature of a good B school. And this is something uh, that this F in our name, the first time our business school, major F I, that is uh, this, uh, which stands for friends and which has a message, you know. I mean, jab, jab hum aap, uh, this business school I started in 2007. This uh, and we uh, 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 first time we have naam rakha. और जब हमने नाम रहा तो लोग हमारा मजाक उड़ा रहे थे यार ये क्या नाम है कुछ कॉस्मोस रखते ग्लोबल रखते या कुछ इस तरह का नाम आप रखते क्या फर्स्ट टाइम आप किसी को हम बताते भी हैं तो मतलब उसको तीन बार पूछना पड़ता है क्या फर्स्ट क्या क्या कहा क्यों तीन बार पूछना पड़ता है यू नो बट देन देयर इज दिस इंपॉर्टेंट टू इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेजेस दैट वेल यस वी आर ऑल फ्रॉम आई एम अहमदाबाद and that we are friends, that we were friends 40, 50 years ago, and we are friends today. That same bond of friendship we are inculcating in our students, and they, once they are a phostimide, they are connected for life, you know. So that is uh, the, the thing that I want all of you, wherever you go in life, whatever you do, that, well, yes, you should be connected. You should not only be connected, these 20, 25 of you, but then whichever group that you are in, your seniors, juniors, classmates, section mates, everybody. Jitna zyada aap strongly connected rahoge, utna hi zyada aapki zindagi mein aapki tarakki hogi. So I come back. I come back to my original definition of a manager. That a person who can take the correct decision at the correct time. When I, those of you who deal uh, or who have uh, got some knowledge of the stock market, you would know that the uh, rose stock market may share price index bagara kabi upur jata hai, kabi niche jata hai. Kabi upur jata hai, kabi niche jata hai. And uh, 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 the uh, The, uh, the person who is an investor in stock market, who can be kharita hai ya bechta hai, depending upon her, his or her perception, ki ye market upar jayegi ya niche jayegi. Agar hume ye pata hai, ki agar kal ye market ya kal Reliance Industries ka share upar jayega, to hum jitne humare paas mein dhan dolat hai, hum usko kharid lenge. और अगर हमें यह पता है कि कल वो नीचे जाना है तो हम सब कुछ बेच देंगे तो बट वी आर नॉट ज्योतिषीज इन एमबीए स्कूल्स में दे आर टीचर्स यू आर दिसिंग वी आर नॉट ज्योतिषीज बट देन दे गिव यू दे प्रोवाइड यू द टूल्स दे प्रोवाइड यू द टूल्स दैट व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स व्हिच एक्चुअली कॉज द मूवमेंट ऑफ स्टॉक्स एंड देयर प्राइसेस इन द शेयर मार्केट एंड दीस टूल्स are such that uh, they give you uh, 
uh, the 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 desired outcome when and uh, whenever you want. There are two kinds of players in the stock market. When you go into management schools, they will tell you that there is a fundamentalist and there is a technician and how these people separately uh, work on the stock market. The idea is not to tell you what is a fundamentalist and what is a technician. The idea is to tell you that, well, yes, in business school, in good business school, like the one that I am running or otherwise outside, they provide you with methods and tools and techniques to take the correct decision. And how do we teach decision-making? This I will give you some examples. The first and foremost, and, I, and, and how to do that. First and foremost is that, well, yes, learn, learn to ask questions. Never take a person on his or her face value. I'll take you, I'll digress you away and I'll tell you a story. And this story is like this. And I, 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 this is story, this story is about a King Solomon and his beautiful wife, Sheba. I don't know how many of you have heard of Solomon and Sheba, but the love story of Solomon and Sheba is actually very, very famous. It is uh, talked of in the same vein, like a Romeo and Juliet, like a Shiri of Farhad or a Lela and much more. So their love story was very famous. And this Solomon, he was a great warrior. He was a, a, an emperor who would always keep uh, uh, going to the battlefield, fighting wars and expand his kingdom because he would always be a victor. So this Solomon, every time that he used to uh, go for a war or a, to the battlefield, wife Sheba would stay in the palace. On one such occasion when Solomon was going for the to the battlefield, uh, Sheba stopped, stopped him, came on the way and said, hey, uh, please, I've had a very bad dream that this time you're not going to win and you're going to get killed in the battlefield. Isliye, uh, please don't go. Jase, I mean, like a typical Indian wife, you know, aap Hindi movie mein bhi dekhte hoge, hey Swami, Pranath, aaj mat jau, usne pair pakad liye, that kind of thing, you know. So, Solomon brushed her aside, hey, silly woman, you are saying that you are saying that you you are saying that you are saying that you are saying that you you are saying that you are लड़ाई के मैदान में कूच कर गया। अब वो शीबा इधर जब वो चला गया तो शीबा वापस आ गई अपने कमरे में बेडरूम में गई और उस शैन कश्क में जाके वो थोड़ा सा आराम करने लगी और आराम करते करते उसको फिर से नींद आ गई। And when in the in her sleep she got a dream again. And this time in this dream she dreamed that Solomon is on in the battlefield. And he is on a horseback sword in his hand, and he's surrounded on all four sides in a round circle by the enemy soldiers. And he is fighting bravely. One such enemy soldier, he takes a bow and arrow, takes the aim, and shoots his arrow. That arrow comes and hits the neck of Solomon's horse. Solomon horse, Solomon's horse falls down. Solomon नीचे आ जाता है और अब वहाँ पे खड़ा अपने हाथ में तलवार लिए हुए on bare on foot he like a foot soldier he he continues to fight थोड़ी देर बाद एक और दुश्मन के सवार का एक और तीर आता है और वो लगता है सोलोमन के हाथ पे लगता है और वो उसके हाथ से उसकी तलवार झटक के नीचे गिर जाती है अब सोलोमन वहाँ पे निहत्था खड़ा है और उसके दुश्मन के जो सवार हैं चारों तरफ से उसको घेर रहे हैं और उनका घेरा they are coming closer and closer घेरा छोटा होता जा रहा है और फिर उसने देखा कि एक 
दुश्मन के आदमी ने अपनी एक तलवार उठाई तलवार उठाई चमकती मतलब तेज सूरज की रोशनी में चमचमाती हुई तलवार और वो तलवार उसने एक बाई सिंगल स्विच ही ब्रिंग्स इट डाउन एंड हिट्स इट ऑन सोलमन नेक और सोलमन का सिर धड़ से अलग हो जाता this is the dream shiba is getting when solomon is in the battlefield on the other hand solomon in real life as usual he is a, uh, he, he he is fighting the battle with the enemy soldiers he he kills most of them he captures the others and he as usual is a winner is a victor and he wins that uh, battle once again and he comes back home back to his palace and the first thing when he comes back home to his palace is that he he thinks that he must go and talk to his wife shiba that unnecessarily she was getting worried about him that he this is going to happen that is going to happen and though he quickly uh, rushes in comes to the bedroom and there she finds shiba there he finds shiba tossing and turning in the bed perspiring profusely because of that a uh, dream that shiba that i just told you the dream that shiba was having solomon sees sees her usse wo dekha nahi gaya usne apni jeb se rumal nikala aur rumal nikal ke he thought that he would wipe the perspiration beads from the neck of his wife's uh, from the neck of his wife shiba now imagine two things happen together and simultaneously one is the 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 dream of shiba in which solomon is getting beheaded and the second is that uh, actual perspiring uh, wiping of the perspiration beads by uh, solomon on shiba's neck two things happen together and shiba dies in sleep scientifically a very very plausible event i mean uh, the the it has been proved scientifically that our reaction when we get up are very much an a function and outcome of what we have been dreaming kai baar agar koi humko raat ko uthata hai koi bhi dost bhi uthaye koi rishtedar uthaye maa uthaye to hum ekdam chauk ke uthte hain kyunki hum koi bhayanak daravna sapna dekh rahe hote hain और जब सब कुछ नॉर्मल होता है तो बड़े आराम से उठ जाते हैं सो हर रिएक्शन इन रियल लाइफ इज ए फंक्शन इज एन आउटकम ऑफ व्हाट वी हैव बीन ड्रीमिंग एंड इन शिबास केस आल्सो दैट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ड्रीम एंड द एंड द सोलोमन हैंड ऑन हर नेक शी डाइज इन स्लीप वेरी प्लॉजिबल साइंटिफिक स्टोरी बट इन दिस स्टोरी देर इज समेर अ फैलिसी and this fallacy i don't know ki aap mein se kitno ko samajh mein aayi kisi ko agar samajh mein aayi ho to phir apna haath uthaye anybody mission cat ke bright students i am waiting for some answer okay और सो right. so, अगर आप लोग नहीं बता रहे हो तो मैं आपको बता देता हूं राइट right? मैं आपको बता देता हूं कि इफ यू कैन ट्राई एटलीस्ट विद सम क्लूज राइट यू कैन मेक अस यू नो एटलीस्ट अ ट्राई रादर देन अज्यूमिंग दैट यू डोंट नो द आंसर यू जस्ट गिव अ ट्राई तो आप आपको बता देंगे सोनी जी सोचा ठीक है I am going to tell them more more such incidents, which will that as I go for further, the difficulty level is going to go up. Right, go ahead, sir. Please go ahead. May I tell you? Tell me the answer. Tell me the answer. आप नहीं बताइए. Let them think. Let them try. ठीक है ओके 
So you can tell Sony or you can uh, also at the end I'll give you my mail ID. You can tell me what is the uh, whatever uh, you think is the is the fallacy in this whole story. All right. So so basically it is like this. Like uh, I was talking about, you must learn to ask questions. Angrezi me, Angrezi me, a very good letter hai, W. Full W se hi sare soal hai, which, when, where, what, etc. Excuse me, sir. Audio is breaking, sir. Your audio voice is not clear. Okay. All right. Is it better now? No, sir. There is some background noise is coming like up. It is. Everybody is getting it? Yes, sir. yes sir. So, so I yes, guess sir. there is some disturbance in the mic, I guess. We can check. Let me check. Is it better? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is better. Okay, so I'll let me uh, carry on this way. All right. So, uh, so Angrezi me jo mai kara tha ki there is this letter W from which originate all questions, and within these Ws, uh, there is this very important W of why. Those of you who have given that, and you know, I, I let me share this with you that I had gone to IIT and. Um, uh, uh, I had this problem, you know, that my two questions in my entrance exam was coaching, bhi karta tha, but I had this problem that when I was out of the exam, I was comparing my answers, compare karta tha, so they would not match with uh, uh, the others, you know, and I used to be very nervous. Then I would say, yes, yes, my too, I would say, yes, yes, I would say, yes, yes, I would say, but then I must share with you, that I was in the IIT entrance examination. I was all India rank 63rd. So I I have uh, uh, done very well uh, for myself both in IIT and in IIM. And Gwalior Shahar me my Gwalior Shahar ka pratham pratham nagrik tha jise in dono colleges institutions me jane ka swabhagya prapt hua jo main kar raha hu. Oh my, meri Hindi meri Hindi itni achhi isliye hai. क्योंकि ग्वालियर मध्य प्रदेश का एक हिस्सा है और वो प्योरली हिंदी भाषी प्रदेश है तो मैं मतलब आप लोग तो फिर भी आदि पंजाबी अंजाबी बोलते होंगे बट मैं जब हिंदी में जब मैं बोलता हूं तो मेरे बड़ा एक एक शब्द है क्लिष्ट क्लिष्ट हिंदी है मेरी तो तो एक एक पब्लिक फंक्शन में मदर ऑफ सिंधिया हैड एक्चुअली फेलिसिटेटेड मी फॉर बीइंग द फर्स्ट सन ऑफ सोइल to have gone to these institutions. So I come back. So in CAT, Sony must have told you that, well, yes, if you know, if you know which formula to, it's not enough merely to know which formula to, to use when. You must know which formula to use when and why. And if you have the answer to the why, then no matter what variation you get in, in the problem, you will be able to solve it and solve it correctly. So that is very, very important. This answer to W. It is learning is never uh, complete by merely listening. Learning is, uh, uh, so what is important is that you should be present, present in the class. You should be attentive in the class, but then to be, for that learning to be complete, you should be participative in the class. And that participative, jab aap hoge, to usme aap sawal poochoge, aap uh, uh, interactive ho jaoge, aap ko yo bhi cheez samajh nahi aayegi, usme aap apna सवाल करोगे आप अपना ओपिनियन दोगे और हो सकता है आपके ओपिनियन से आपके टीचर का भी ज्ञान वर्धन हो इट्स नॉट ओनली यू हु आर लर्निंग मेनी अ टाइम्स इट हैपेंस दैट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स इंटेलिजेंस 
the teacher also is forced to think that, well, yes, that is correct. So these are very, very important cues that you have to do. At I am Ahmedabad, and I was at a function in which the director of I am Ahmedabad was there. And this was during the pandemic time when we are all in the online mode. So he, uh, somebody asked him that what is going to be the future of management education in the post-pandemic scenario? Are you going to be in the in the uh, online mode or physical mode or is it going to be hybrid mode? So he said very clearly that I don't expect too much change in management education. Of course, there will be some element of technology which will come in and on some online hybrid mode will be there. But then it will be 75 to 80% physical. And he gave a reason for that, you know, that this is to management education. Hai. It is not about classroom study or it's not about giving, uh, learning from a book and giving a paper, etc. It's more about discussing real life situation. This case method ka jo ki hai, jo padhai hai, jo I am ne Harvard se li hai, aur wo pher I am se humare jaise aur business schools le li hai. To usme discussion hota hai. Aur us discussion ke andar, jab mantan ke andar se solution nikalta hai. Wo solution kaise nikalta hai? Ye bhi mein aapko bata. How that solution comes out is, you know, at I am Ahmedabad, we would spend hours not discussing the solution of the case. We would spend hours discussing the problem. Or ye ke bhai, kya problem hai, usi ke upar hum idhar se udhar ja rahe hai, ye hai, kisi ne ka ye, kisi ne ka ne, ye nahi, wo. And why? Because jab tak hum problem ki jad tak nahi pahunchenge, a common sense wali baat mein aapko bata raha hoon. As a student, us mein humme samaj nahi aari thi. Yaar, itni dher hum kar rahe hain. Ki hum solution pe kyo nahi jaate? Kyunki jab tak hum problem ki jad pe nahi pahunchenge, hum solution kaise nahi pahunchenge? So the thing is that the important thing is not to find the best solution. The important thing is to find the root cause of the problem. And if you know the root cause of the problem, the solutions will automatically emerge you know so that is the the way the uh, the education week has been nurtured in good v schools and that is the way they sort of uh, um, uh, teach uh, bring in you a sense of correct decision making i'll give you another example this is not a difficult one but a very easy one i don't know if you've heard uh, this but then ek mandir ke paas na do bikhari the दो भिखारी थे और वो शाम हो गई उनको गपशप लगाते लगाते उनको भूख लग रही थी तो उनका चलो खाना खा लेते हैं एक के पास में पांच रोटी थी और दूसरे के पास में तीन रोटी थी रविंद्र परियार यू नो दिस क्या नो नो सर ओके ऑल राइट मुझे ऐसा लगा कि आप सिर हिला रहे थे कि आपको पता था तो एक के पास में पांच रोटी थी और दूसरे के पास में तीन रोटी थी तो वो उनको आपस में शेयर करके खाने वाले थे कि एक तीसरा भिखारी वहां पर और आ गया और उसको भी भूख लग रही थी उसने कहा मैं भी खाना खा लेता हूं लेकिन उसके पास में एक भी रोटी नहीं थी सो दे वर थिंकिंग कि भाई पांच है तीन है जीरो है हाउ विल बी शेयर अमंगस्ट आवर सेल्स तो वहां कोई सोनी गोयल जी जैसे कोई वहां पर स्मार्ट आई एम के बंदे वहां पर पहुंच गए उनका यार बड़ा सिंपल तरीका है प्रत्येक रोटी के आप तीन तीन टुकड़े कर दो तो पांच वाले के पंद्रह हो जाएंगे तीन वाले के नौ हो जाएंगे ट्वेंटी फोर पीसेस एंड शेयर एट ईच अमंगस्ट योर सेल्फ मैन बी हैप्पी अबाउट इट वेरी सिंपल सोल्यूशन बट अ क्लेवर सोल्यूशन एंड देवर ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम आर वेरी हैप्पी उन्होंने आठ आठ पीसेस खा लिए और रात को पानी वानी पी के सो गए सुबह जब उठे तो सबसे पहले वो उठा बंदा जिसके पास में एक भी रोटी नहीं थी और वो जब बाकी दोनों उठे तब तक वो वहां से चला गया और चला गया था जाने के पहले उसने वहां पर आठ सोने के सिक्के उनके पास छोड़ दिए 
अब उन्होंने कहा देवर देट वे वेरी हैप्पी यार कि ये बेचारा बहुत बहुत ही शरीफ आदमी निकला इसने हमको आठ सोने के सिक्के छोड़ के चला गया तो इसको हम चलो आपस में बांट लेते हैं वन गाय सेठ के चार चार कर लेते हैं दूसरे ने कहा पांच और मेरे पांच थे तो मैं पांच रखूंगा तुम तीन रखो ऐसे करके वो आपस में थोड़ा सा खींचतान करने लगे कि भाई उनको सामने नहीं आया So, uh, उनको समझ नहीं आया तो फिर वहां पर फिर मेरे जैसा कोई आए अहमदाबाद का बंदा चला आया ही सेट की यार क्या प्रॉब्लम है उन्होंने अपनी प्रॉब्लम बताई प्रॉब्लम बताई मैं कहा यार वेरी सिंपल तो जिसके पास में पांच रोटी थी उसने उसको मैंने सात सिक्के दे दिए और जिसके पास में एक रोटी थी उसको मैंने एक सिक्का दिया सो देन दे सेट यार ये कैसे हुआ भाई तुम क्या क्या कह रहे हो सिंपल है कि जिसके पास में पांच रोटी थी उसने फिफ्टीन पीसेस किए ही केप्ट एट फॉर हिमसेल्फ एंड पार्टेड विथ सेवन दर फेलो मेड नाइन पीसेस ही केप्ट एट फॉर हिमसेल्फ एंड पार्टेड विथ ओनली वन सो द गाय हु पार्टेड विथ सेवन शुड गेट सेवन पीसेस एंड द गाय हु पार्टेड विथ वन शुड गेट वन पीसेस आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गॉट द आंसर एंड गॉट दिस सोल्यूशन while the story was in progress but then the thing is that your mind so what are we doing actually in good b school we are stimulating your mind and we are stimulating your mind to give you situations and in those situations we we get answers from you and when we get answers from you and then that's when that's so and what happens is that you somewhere in in the data bank of your mind these answers are stored and when in real life when you come across such situation you actually you pick out this is data mining and in it terminology this data mining you pick out those uh, uh, solutions from your data bank and then use them modify them twist them to get the correct decision out and i we i have used this all my life all the techniques that i have learned from my mom the bank i have used this these decision making tools all my life right now you are also for instance in a particular situation you are taking decisions all the time all the time so whether to do pgdm or do law or do something else or can't you take up a job when when you have given cat you you well in this cat range these are the kind of b schools that i have actually shortlisted for myself in which one to go for everybody is shouting from the rooftop that they are the best now you don't know how to so then you have to use the tools and if you use the correct tools if you use the correct criteria there is a scientific method to decision making you know so when you go to a good b school they tell you that well yes the first is to identify the problem which is what i just talked about then you get the correct criteria that what should be the criteria tools that we should use then one etc once you get into those criteria then you see that what are your basic alternatives and then you apply the criteria and then you come to the right solution so if you go about it the scientific way you will you are very less likely i'm not say 100% but very less likely to uh, uh, make a mistake right okay uh, i i and i the, the thing is you have to understand one more thing in which i i tell everybody that learning is not only in the classroom mm-hmm. learning is from everybody learning is all the time huh? right i'll i'll now share with you a problem which is uh, uh, which you can read and uh, i mean i i i, I don't know whether uh, sony has uh, seen that problem or not but if uh, any of you can solve this it will be amazing One second. Sir, can you share the screen? Please. You can't see the screen. I'm already sharing it. Yes, yes, sir. We can see. Yes, sir. We can see. Yes, sir. 
to please take care of anything right yes sir you need an aman if yes sir yeah yeah please be there yes sir Can you read this? Yes. Yes, yes sir. sir. When I have to scroll down, you let me know. Okay. प्रीली स्कूल so everybody is right and understood yes yes yes, yes. so i i will now try and narrate this myself ki ye ek aisi coaching suppose mr soni goel was running a coaching institute for law and he was a lawyer ek unke paas mein ek gareeb aaya education lene ke liye uske paas paise nahi the usne free mein education le li aur kaha main court mein practice karunga jab pehla case jeet jaunga to main aapko paise de dunga साल बीत गया दो साल बीत गए तीन साल बीत गए जब नहीं आया उसका पैसा तो सोनी ने उनके खिलाफ में केस कर दिया केस ये सोच के किया कि भाई अगर मैं जीत जाया गया तो मुझे जज के आदेश के तहत पैसे मिल ही जाएंगे अगर मैं हार गया तो ये पहला केस अपना जीत जाएगा तो भी ये मुझे पैसे दे देंगे उधर वो स्टूडेंट भी तीस मार खा वो भी सोचता है कि अगर मैं हार गया तो मुझे पैसे देने ही नहीं है और अगर मैं जीत गया तो जज के ऑर्डर के तहत फिर भी मुझे पैसे नहीं देने हैं तो बताइए कौन सही किसको पैसे मिलेंगे फिर से फिर से शेयर करूंगी यू अंडरस्टूड द होल केस यू अंडरस्टूड आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टूड ऑल राइट हाँ सो वेन so i i'll not spend too much time over it ha huh? well, this is one of the classic uh, paradoxes you know, about who's right and who's wrong and what should be the the solution but then i i think uh, you uh, think about it aapas mein bhi aap isme discuss karo aur agar kisi ko sahi answer mil jaye to mujhe zarur bhej dena ha theek hai okay all right ha huh? I I'll tell you one more one more uh, uh, example. Huh? I'll give you one more example. Huh? Right? Normally, if I am physical, then you will have a lot of fun in this. But let's go. I am first time doing this. I am doing it for the first time uh, uh, online. So let me let me uh, do this. You know, and this is about uh, learning from everybody. Huh? Right? So uh, who is the highest cat scorer amongst all of you? 
कौन है हाईएस्ट कैट स्कोर नब्बे से नब्बे वाले कौन थे भाई हाथ ऊपर करो जरा अपना अंकित झा और अमन जैन किसके ज्यादा है ये बताओ अंकित सर अंकित चल भाई अमन हाथ नीचे कर रहे हैं हाँ अमन तुम भी नीचे कर लो तुमसे तीन सवाल करूंगा मैं हाँ ठीक है ओके जवाब दो यस सर सिंपल सवाल करूंगा बस जवाब दे देना हाँ राइट हाथ चाहे नीचे कर ले हाँ ओके और सो आई मस्ट टेल यू दिस कि मैं अभी अभी अब मेरे ख्याल से दस दिन पहले की बात है और मैं मुझे किसी काम से बनारस जाना पड़ा तो कोरोना का वक्त चल रहा था एयरपोर्ट काफी खाली था तो मैं एक फ्लाइट के लिए वेट कर रहा था थोड़ा जल्दी पहुंच गया था और फ्लाइट के लिए वेट कर रहा था वहीं पर एक फैमिली और थी उसको भी बनारस जाना था फ्रॉम दिल्ली टू वाराणसी दे वर फ्लाइंग सो एज हैपेंस कि भाई खाली था तो आपस में हम बातचीत करने लगे दे आस्क मी व्हाट आर द यू डूइंग आई सेड भाई आई एम द चेयरमैन ऑफ दिस बिजनेस स्कूल फर्स्ट टाइम अ बिजनेस स्कूल एंड इज आई एम आई आई एम आल्सो आई एम आल्सो फ्रॉम आई एंड बॉम्बे एंड आई एम अहमदाबाद सो दे वर वेरी इंप्रेस्ड बाय मी वहीं पर उनकी एक 11 साल की लड़की थी तो वो मेरे साथ में खेलने लग गई तो वो मेरे साथ में खेलने लग गई मजाक करने लग गई तो उसने मेरे से कहा कि अंकल कैन आई आस्क यू थ्री क्वेश्चन ओके ये पता है आप लोगों को नहीं पता नहीं पता सर नहीं पता अच्छा तो मैं उसने कहा मैं क्या पूछते भाई अगर पूछना है कोई मेरे को कोई बात नहीं सिंपल क्वेश्चन है बट अंकल मेरी एक ही कंडीशन है कि देर शुड बी ओनली वन वर्ड आंसर टू दैट आई सेड ओके आई कैन गिव यू वन वर्ड आंसर तो उसने जो मुझसे तीन सवाल किए वही तीन सवाल मैं अंकित झा से पूछूंगा ठीक है सर अंकित सर कहा से आ गया यार वॉट्स योर नेम अंकित क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वॉट इज दिस फिंगर वॉट इज दिस नोज फिंगर तो जा रही है पर किस पे कहां पे हाथ रखा हुआ है वॉट इज हाँ नोज नोज थर्ड क्वेश्चन है अंकित कि वॉट इज रिटर्न ऑन दिस पेपर कुछ दिख रहा है लिखा हुआ बोलो ना नो सो वॉट इज रिटर्न ऑन दिस पेपर आंसर तो दो सर देर इज नो करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस भाई वन वन वर्ड आंसर है यार दुनिया में आंसर मिलता है सर नथिंग सर कहां से आ गया यार नथिंग अब जो तीन आंसर तुमने दिए तीनों बोल दे यार जरा अंकित नोज नथिंग करेक्ट करेक्ट अंकित नोज नथिंग दिस इज This is exactly these are the answers which I gave to that eleven-year-old girl, and that eleven-year-old girl went into a big laughter over there. And this uh, smart fellow, Mr. IIT, Mr. IIM, uh, All India Rank sixty-third, felt so foolish in front of her that day. Or us din, mujhe samaj me aaya ki bhaiya kisi ko halke be man nahi leta, right? You should be very clear in your life. You never, never underestimate anyone in life, and this is the lesson I learn every day. So, learning I'm saying is learning is all the time. Learning is from everyone. Learning is inside the class, outside the class. We have you all must have studied that you have. We have two sides to our brain: the left side and the right side. One side is the natural thinker, you know, which is a A, which understand boolean logic which understands uh, 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 the the rational way of doing things and the other side is 
the innovative things. The other side also gives the out of mind solutions. So it is that out of the box solutions that we are actually trying to develop and that we, we do this. In, um, in, in my business school, that is first time out, we have, we have this uh, saying and, uh, <clears throat> and the saying goes like this. And this actually saying we've taken from Africa and that saying goes like this, that every morning when a lion gets up in Africa, it says to itself, every morning when a lion gets up in Africa, it says to itself that I must run faster than the fast, the faster than the slowest gazelle. Otherwise, I will starve to death. I repeat what the lion says, says, uh, says, that I must run faster than the slowest gazelle. Gazelle is a type of deer, you know, hiran ki ek prajati hoti hai. So I must run faster than the slowest gazelle, otherwise I will starve to death. And every morning when a, ye jo paradox abhi maine bataya tha na, lawyer wala, ye waisa hi kuch paradox hai. And every morning when a gazelle gets up, it also says to itself, that I must run faster than the fastest lion. Otherwise, I'll get eaten up. You get my point? Yes, sir. Ek hi situation, dono alag alag jagay, apni jagay soch rahe hai. And in life, it doesn't matter whether you are a lion or a gazelle. What is important is that when the sun comes up, you better start running. Because this is a very competitive world. And in this world, in order to survive, you have to be agile, you have to be alert. Only then you can rise high. Only then you can do well. We are living in a VUCA world. So there is chaos all over. Things are changing rapidly every day. New technologies are coming up. There are new courses which never existed earlier. People are focusing a lot on blockchain, AI, machine learning, and whatnot. And we don't know what may come up tomorrow. The human mind is facing its biggest competition ever from these machines and computers. But then mind is still is the is the creator of all these softwares and machines so as of now the machines have not taken over let's hope that situation does, doesn't come at least in our lifetime we know it will not i don't know about your lifetime so i i with this i think i will come to the end of uh, what i had to say today if I try and sum it up, it is I started by saying that, well, yes, what is important is passion, lagan, and this is what I have learned. This is what um, uh, I've learned from my childhood. This is what I've learned from my uh, school days. And this is what I have actually uh, imparted to our students in our business school. That's the second thing I said is that what I learned at, at IIM, at IIT, rather, I would say, is to learn to focus on the questions, learn to always ask the question, why? Then I learned what I learned at IIM, that, well, yes, uh, the, what, I, uh, uh, that, uh, what I learned at IIM was that, yes, focus on the problem, not so much on the solution, and your decision-making is not going to be flawed. And thereafter, I gave you instances of... Uh, uh, instances of uh, situations in which learning is there in everyday life from uh, simple stories, how you uh, learn and keep your antenna open all the time because if you're going to do that and there are, uh, I mean, I can give you umpteen such examples, you know, my, my uh, um, this was to be a one hour lecture, otherwise I could have given you many more such examples of learning all the time. Because if you keep your antenna open at all times, learning is everywhere. And that's what I tell our students. It's that by, so we, we are here we, at Postama, we've got so many I am faculty over here. I said, it doesn't matter if somebody is not teaching you or whatever. Even by looking, observing, there's a lot of learning from observing, huh, by the way. So even by looking, observing, and uh, noting down, you're learning a lot. Many, 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 
अभी भी मैं अपनी इंग्लिश में देखता हूं आई हैव येट टू कम अक्रॉस लेट मी शेयर दिस आई हैव येट टू कम अक्रॉस एन इंडियन हु हैज परफेक्ट इंग्लिश प्रोनंसिएशन इवन अ पर्सन लाइक शशि थरूर ओकेजनली स्लिप्स हियर एंड देयर नो सो आई एम आल्सो कंटीन्यूअसली गेटिंग इन increasing my vocabulary correcting my pronunciation every day or every other day so learning is a continuous process it is there all the time it is there from everyone your life mein kisi ko halke mein mat lena my time is up thank you very much agar aapko pasand aaya to zor se taali baja do thank you thank you sir Sony, are you, you still there? Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any any questions? Anybody? Who I have said that? Sir, uh, you were to share your email ID so that we can give the answer of Anil Anil dot s. Anil dot s at fostima dot org f o s t i i m a dot org. Okay, Mr. Ankit knows nothing, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, this ne bichare ne bhot idhar udhar kisne ki koshish ki. Huh? Okay, can I leave? Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving this conversation. All right, huh? Right. Bye. Hello. All the best to you, all of you. Yes, sir. Huh? Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Huh? And uh, if any of you have the passion, okay. One more thing, I want before I before I leave. Huh? Right. So, only one more thing, huh? All right. So this year, uh, so uh, uh, like I mentioned to you. that we have created for stima business school because we know that cat is a difficult exam and not everybody can get 99 percentile and get into ima so those with passion those with potential we created for stima business school only for those kind of students we have amazing faculty a whole lot of them are from iim ahmedabad i tell everybody i tell of every student whom i met you know that that uh, if you have to learn dancing then you learn from Uh, somebody like madhuri dikshit if you have to learn uh, cricket learn from somebody like sachin tendulkar or things like that and if you have to learn management then who better than i am on the bath pass out we've got a whole lot of i am faculty here in i am on the uh, from i am on the bath and the other i am also right. so they they bring in their uh, huge corporate experience into the first time our classroom and share these uh, solutions with you and this year we 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 are creating a special batch for students of cat 80 i mean our typical ranges uh, so we, uh, starts from upward of class uh, of cat 60 percentile but this year i mean we don't that, that's a cut off 60 percentile is a cut off you know but then this year we starting an, an elite batch of uh, students 80 percentile and above we are also giving them scholarship so those with within 80 and 95 percentile is the range that i have It has scholarships ranging from 1.5 lakhs to 2.5 lakhs, and minimum and a minimum placement of 10 lakhs to 25 lakhs, minimum of 10 lakhs, and minimum two play job opportunities upward of 10 lakhs. So this is a and a written right. commitment. So those of you who are interested in making a good career, who are interested in honing their decision making skills, are interested, you can. Uh, first time on, you can apply, and the admissions are still open. Right, thank sir. You, yeah, thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I, I just missed the last thirteen uh, minutes, fifteen minutes, but I was very much there till you, uh, you know, with the story and other thing. So I'm sorry for that. So, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed and learned, uh, uh, you know, uh, the inside of management and the importance of taking right decision at the right time. So uh, let me tell you about first time uh, because the um, three of our students last year they you know and before that also they you know went into a first time and have very good feedback. And in terms of ROI, I would say this is one of the 
great b school you can go to the website and check the details i will also send you the details and as sir has mentioned it's uh, you know nothing like uh, uh, learning from the people uh, uh, who want to uh, you know uh, learn from the management you can learn from people from i am not only ahmedabad but many other i am uh, alumnus are, are there so obviously you know those who are getting 90 95 plus uh, uh, you you will be getting other colleges but in terms of if you are percentile ranges what been 70 to 90 then i would say this is the best college in terms of roi in terms of your learning in terms of your placements and uh, uh, wish you uh, uh, good luck please have a look at uh, the uh, and the website and this thing and thank you very much sir uh, i hope uh, uh, the things that you have explained how how you learned uh, the language part and uh, how you how you uh, you know move from this one part and how iit iim is more you know uh, is combination before that gwalior thing you told i i really you know appreciate that and i want students to keep that learning thing on right and in management learning is the key right result output is not the key the learning is 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 the key so thank you very much sir and uh, if you have any question guys you can write uh, i will share the coordinates you have some some people are raising hands sir so can you please take you have questions guys yes yes sir i have one question yeah. sir so sir uh, there are some questions so uh, if you can take some questions sir okay all right i'll yeah. do that yeah hello sir thank you for the question uh, sir uh, i haven't given cat examination but i have given zat examination so does first time i accept zat score yes very much both cat and zat are accepted Okay, sir. This was my question. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. We don't accept mat, huh? By the way. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Anyone have any other questions, guys? I think we are done. Thank you. Okay. All the best to all of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to engage yeah. you all. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. CRs, please take the attendance for today of the respective batches. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Sir.